Hey app developers! In this video, we're going to take a look into the practical side of app development. We're going to take a look at the Dynatrace App Toolkit. The Dynatrace App Toolkit has been designed to help you with your app development processes and to make your app run a little bit better. So what actually is the Dynatrace App Toolkit? Now, as the name suggests, the Dynatrace App Toolkit is a tool to help you with your app development process. It's a tool that you can use directly from your command line within your terminal. You'll be able to create, develop, and deploy your apps on the Dynatrace platform in your chosen environment. Now, if you've created an app already, you've likely already used the Dynatrace app toolkit. This is because the command line to actually build a Dynatrace app is from the app toolkit. So there are a few requirements that we have in order for you to be able to use the Dynatrace app toolkit. One of those is that you need access to a terminal. So this could be the terminal of your choice, such as um, CMD, it could be Linux, or like me, it could be the Mac OS terminal. Secondly, you're going to need Node.js installed on your machine. Finally, to actually run the app toolkit, you're going to need to run it in a directory that you have read and write access. This is because the app toolkit needs to be able to change things within that directory. So you need to have permissions there. But to note, you don't actually have to have admin permissions in order to use the app toolkit. You can use your standard default user permissions. For other requirements, such as available ports that you need to use the app toolkit, you can go and check those out on the documentation in Dynatrace. I've gone ahead and put a link in the description to this video. Section, we're going to take a look at some of those commands in the app toolkit. Now, the app toolkit comes with quite a lot of commands. And throughout this video, I'm going to take you through some of those commands and hopefully in the order that you're going to see them on your app development journey. First up is the create command. So the create command is to create an app in your selected directory. You can find this command on the Dynatrace documentation homepage. To use this command, you can go ahead and just copy and paste that command from the Dynatrace developer documentation page. Go ahead and copy and paste this into your terminal. When you hit enter, the command will start to do its magic. In the terminal, you're going to be prompted to ask what name you would like for your app and what environment you're using. Once you've done this, this will then start scaffolding your app. It will be pulling together all of the dependencies that you need for your app. This means you can focus on what is important to you, which is developing your app. The create command creates a default template of an app. You can go ahead and explore this default template because it has some great features in there, such as routing, it has already some defined scopes and some nice pages and UI in there. You can go in, explore them, see how they work together, maybe take some inspiration from that default template for your own app. Starting your local development server. Now, as soon as you get started developing an app, it's very likely that you'll want to actually see those reflected changes that you're making within your code actually within your app. We do have a command for this. Now, this command will actually go ahead and start building your app, starting your local development server, opening up a browser that's already running your app in your environment. Now, you're going to notice that there's actually two different modes that it's opening up in this local development server. If I take a look at my terminal, you're going to see that there's two links. Now, the first link is actually opening up a different one to the other one. The first one is opening up our app in our local app shell. This will allow us to integrate with all of the other aspects of the platform. Whereas the second one is just your app without the app shell. This can be really useful in cases where you want to use perhaps React DevTools or any of these sort of things. 
However, one thing to note there, that is if you are using that second link without the app shell, you wouldn't be able to use intents. So please make sure if you want to check in between how things are talking to each other, that you're using the first one. And good news is this local development server is actually running live, meaning all the changes that you're making are being lively reflected within your browser. However, one point to this, if you change anything within the app config file, you will actually need to restart your development server in order to see those changes reflected within your app. Command free, updating dependencies. Another handy command to have in the app toolkit is the updating dependencies command. This command will update any of the Dynatrace scope packages and the app toolkit to the latest updates, and it will apply any automatic migrations. Command four, generating app functions. When developing your app, you may want to use an app function. This can be very useful in cases where you would like to use third-party data or use requests that need credentials for authentication. For these cases, the command makes it super easy because you can use the generate function command within your terminal. And then this will actually just prompt you for the name that you would like to give your function. This command actually creates the function and then it also generates a test with the corresponding TypeScript files. When you use this command, you will see a new file in your API folder like my one that you see here. Command five, deploying your app. Just as we created our app, we can actually go ahead and deploy our app using the deploy command. We can do this and this will automatically deploy our app within our environment. Command six, uninstalling your app. If you wish to uninstall your app, you can go ahead and do that with the uninstall command. If you want a full reference of all of the commands that you can use, you can go and check that out in the Dynatrace developer documentation. I've put a link in the description to this video for you. And if you don't fancy leaving your IDE, you can actually use this command and you can see all of the commands that you have available for you within your terminal. And that's it for today. Leave us a comment about your experience with the app toolkit. And also remember, you can learn more about all of these topics in the Dynatrace developer documentation. See you in the next one.